in this video i will teach you how to install whatsapp and whatsapp admin so first thing is you need to download android studio so go to google and search android studio and click on the first thing and then click on download android studio so after downloading and installing the android studio uh, this dialog will appear so you have to click on open I have saved my uh, both WhatsApp and WhatsApp admin in my download folder so I will first open the uh, WhatsApp file it will take some time to load okay so now my project has been successfully uh, loaded in the Android studio so first thing is that you need to change the package name of the app so click on this icon and uh, disable the compact middle packages and now you can change the package name so remember that you have to change the name of these two folders only and the package name should be unique like it there shouldn't be any app with a similar package name on the play store so first i will uh, change the, this folder's name to v And then I will change the package name of the second folder to chat. You can keep uh, anything you want. So our package name has been successfully changed over here, but there is one place where we have to change it. So go to the manifest, copy this. This is your package name which you have changed, and go to build out Gradle, scroll up and you can see over here application id copy this click on file sorry edit find uh, replace in files and just paste your new package name over here click on replace all and click on replace so this will replace package name from everywhere so now our package name has been successfully changed everywhere so uh, now we have to change the name of the app so go to resource uh, values strings and then select this go to edit and uh, click on find replacing files so now so now type your app name over here so my app name is WeChat, and then click on replace all and click on replace Okay, so now our app name has been successfully changed. So now we have to change the color of the app. So go to string uh, values, styles, and from here you can change the color of the app like layout color, text color, whatever you want, the dark theme, and in the app theme, the light theme. And also uh, you can change the chat theme colors also over here. Now you have to change the app logo. So uh, go to the resource folder, double click on it new image asset and then uh, click on the uh, this folder icon and choose your logo so uh, then after choosing your logo click on open and then select your background color so i will set my background color to purple and click on next and click on finish so our logo has been changed uh, the app logo but uh, we have to change the logo in the splash screen so select your logo copy it and paste it in this folder and rename it as logo.svg or whatever png or svg and now I delete the old PNG logo, delete the old logo and just to verify go to layout splash screen so now we have to connect this app to uh, the firebase so go to google and search firebase go to firebase click on go to console 
you click on add project or create a project and accept the terms write your project name click on continue click on accept Click on continue and then click on uh, Android and here you have to paste your package name so go to manifest copy your package name paste it over here and type your app name over here it's optional and then you have to paste your SHA1 key so go to Android Studio click on Bradle over here uh, open this app sorry Open this run configuration, click on WhatsApp signing report. And there you can see uh, our SHA1 and SHA256 key has been successfully generated. So copy the SHA1 key, paste it over here, click on register app. Download this uh, file, click on next, click on next. And continue to the console now copy this file which you have downloaded and go to Android Studio go to project open this and then you have to paste that file inside the app folder so paste it over here click OK click overwrite and done so now go back to Android and close this and copy your SHA256 key go to settings project settings scroll down and click on add in the print paste over here and done so now our both the keys have been successfully pasted go to cloud messaging copy this key minimize uh, close this window and go to Go to user, click on chat activity, scroll down to the bottom uh, at the line 1207 and this copy, just copy this key from here to here, click on edit and then click on find, replace in files and then paste your key which you have copied from Firebase over here and then click on replace all click on replace so it will just replace uh, the key from everywhere inside the source code so, so this is done now go to build go to authentication click on get started click on phone enable this and save now go to firestore database create database production mode enable this Now our Firebase Firestore database has been successfully created. Go to real time database. Click on create database. Click on next. Click on uh, log mode. Now go to storage. Yeah, so our storage real time database and fire store database have been successfully created now so now go to rules in the fire store database go to rules and just remove this part and click on publish and then go to real time database 
click on rule uh, and then change it to true true and then go to storage go to rules and then remove this part click on publish and then go back to real-time database again and create a new child name it as as click on this add icon and type type and set the value as on and click on add yeah so that's it now put new tab type five is own authentication and then click on the first link scroll down click on this device uh, android device check out api click on this accept the terms and then click on select a project go to all select the project which you have created in the firebase select it click on it and then click on enable enable the device verification so it will enable the OTP verification in the app Okay, so this is done. Now you have to go to Deep AR. Go to this link developer.deepar.ia and create your account. And then this screen will appear your projects. Click on add, get started, type its project name. Agree the terms, create project, go to add and or app, type the project name over here again, and then type the app ID. So app ID is the package name, copy this, paste it over here, create app, and then just copy the app key and go to face filter, face filter, and on the line 373, paste that key, new key over here, and now. Now go to add mob, you type add mob, click on the first thing, click on sign in, then go to apps, add your first app, select android, select no, click on continue, type your app name, click on add app, click on done, and go to app settings, and copy this uh, app id go to manifest scroll down to the bottom and over here you can see the app id just replace it with the new one and then go to add units and click on get started and select the banner create add unit click on done and then again select add add unit and select the art and native advanced paste it over here click on done again and then copy this banner id go to resource values string and just select this click on edit find replace in files and just paste it over here replace all and do the same with the native Now AdMom has been successfully configured inside the app. Now the uh, Android app for the WhatsApp has been successfully installed. You can run it and test it. But now we will install the, we will set up the uh, WhatsApp admin app. So for that, close this. Click on open. And this time select whatsapp admin so now the admin has been successfully opened inside the android studio now we can change the app name of the admin and logo like i have shown you in the main app 
you can follow that and change the app name and the logo if you want to but the only thing necessary is that the package name shows so click on the settings icon come back middle packages disable that and change the name of the package click on refactor do refactor and do the second uh, do the same thing with the second folder click on refactor rename okay so now go to manifest copy the package name go to uh, gradle and then copy the old package name go to edit find replace in files and paste it over here and click on replace all so now the package name has been changed and we have to connect this admin panel to the firebase so go to your firebase click on project overview and then click on add app and select android and then copy your admin package name paste it over here type the app name and generate the SHA 1 and 256 key copy this paste it over here download this for file click on next 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 and just copy this file go to uh, project open this and paste it in the app folder click on ok and click on overwrite now copy this SHA256 key go to project settings select the admin app paste it over here go to cloud messaging copy this key go to uh, adapter report user and on the 294th line copy this key the old one and replace it with the new go to edit find replace in files and then just replace the key and now our app admin app has been successfully connected to the uh, firebase so you can keep the admin app with yourself and publish the main app to the play store and that's it so if you need any help you can contact me on my email or whatsapp and if you want me to install the app i will do that and the charges are ten dollars so if you want me to install then contact me and if you need any help then contact me and thank you for watching